eco-villages and ecological communities in Europe. We show 10 communities from 8 European countries. Join us at the eco-village Siebenlinden in Germany with 120 residents in Germany's first three-story straw bale house, a center for the creation of new forms of natural energy-saving buildings. Krishna Valley in Hungary with 150 residents following the Vedic traditions, living gently and striving for self-sufficiency. Germany's Schloss Tondorf, a child-rich, multifaceted community open to individual lifestyles. Damanhur in Italy, an eco-society with fascinating underground temples and its own currency, the Credito. Schloss Glarisek in Switzerland, on the shores of the Bodensee, a community that provides opportunities for conscious living and being. Finca Tierra in the Canary Islands, a small community with houses and gardens integrated with nature. La Boirie Noble in France, practicing the nonviolence inspired by the life work of Gandhi. The Peace Research Village of Tamera in Portugal, holistically exploring the healing of humans, animals, society, and the environment. In southern Spain, the Valle de Sensaciones, a place of creativity and communion with nature. The once abandoned mountain village of Mata Venero in Spain now a thriving community of 70 residents surprising visitors with their creative reconstruction and zero energy cable transport system. We offer you behind-the-scenes insights and interviews with founders and community members from all these villages. Coming from the consumptive society, I decided to become a part of this community which works with nature. My hope is to reach as many people as possible through this community and to move them back into living and working with nature. It's not just the idea that's important, but the actual creation of structures of trust and freedom. I think what inspires me most about this community is the possibility of living the different aspects of nonviolence according to Gandhi. We are not used to living in community. We are used to life within the framework of the small families we grew up in, where we acquired our thinking habits. In community, many more people need to get together under one hut, as we say in German. But there is also much more energy in this kind of support network. If I am supported by 200 people, and also support 200 people, it is a completely different situation than that of a small family. Experience with us how these communities are organized, how they make their decisions, how they finance themselves, what lifestyle choices they have made, and why.
We look at the questions of self-provision of food and energy, how adults interact with children, and how the children learn, whether a community is motivated by a common spiritual feeling, and the openness to new ideas. Out of this human cooperation and creativity, we can see what questions have been answered, what challenges have been met, what struggles remain, and we can imagine what possibilities might arise and what the future might hold.